Hey guys, I'm GamerMate, and today I'm going to be sharing the McVarian Rebirth system, so let's get into the video. So first off, we need to set everything up. So first we need to make the GUI. So we have a screen GUI, named Rebirth GUI, and inside of it, we have a text button, named Toggle. And inside of it, I have a UI corner, and all that does is just make the GUI round. And then we have a frame, and inside of it, I have another UI corner. And then we have a text button, named Confirm. And then we have a text label named Desk, which is a description at the top. I don't need this, but I think it makes the GUI look good. And then we have a text label named Price. And this is going to show you how many points you need to actually rebirth. And if you want, you can change the text to anything you want, because we're going to be changing the text with a script. And then we have another text label called like Multi, which is for Multiplier. And once again, we're going to be changing the text of it using a script. And once again, we have another text label at the top, for this time called title. I don't need to add this, but I think it just makes it like look good. Now if we select a frame, and then go into your properties, and then make sure visible is unticked, like that. Okay, now if we go over to replicate storage, and then click on plus, and then add in a remote event. And then if we go to your properties, and then rename it to rebirth event, like that. Now, if we go over to Server Script Service, and then click on Plus, and then add in this script. And then, if we go to the Properties, and then rename it to Rebirth Server, like that. So, first off, we have a variable named Rebirth Event. And this equals to a game, don't replicate storage. And then, we're waiting for a child Rebirth Event, which is the remote event. Then, down here, we're using the Player Added Event, which will run the code each time a new player joins the game. And the player in between brackets is the player that joined the game. Then we're making a variable named leader stats. This equals an instance dot new folder. Then we set the folder's name to leader stats and make sure it's all in lowercase for it to work. And then we set the leader stats parent to a player. Then down here we're making a variable named points. This also equals to an instance dot new, but this time we're creating an int value. I'm going to be using points. To be able to rebirth but if you want you could use something else like cash or xp or something and then we set the name property to points and then we set the value property to zero and this is how many points the player will spawn in with and then we set the parent to the leader stats folder and then down here we have a variable named rebirths and this is the same thing as the points but instead the variable and the name property have been changed to rebirths and then down here we're also doing the same thing as the points and rebirths but this time it's called multiplier and instead of setting parent to the leader stats we set it to a player because if we set it to a leader stats then you'll be able to see the multiplier value on the player leaderboard and if you want you could do that but i prefer having it inside the player and then if you scroll down okay so down here we're using the on server event on the rebirth event to run the code once the rebirth event has been fired to the server which is when the player tries to rebirth and then we have a variable named leader stats, which equals to a player. And then we're waiting for a child leader stats. And then the same goes for a multiplier variable, but instead we're waiting for the multiplier value. And then down here, we're setting the points value to zero. So once the player rebirths, then they'll lose all their points. And then down here, we add plus one to their rebirth value. And then we add plus two to the multiplier's value. For example, if I had a multiplier of 2, and then we rebirth, then I'll set the multiplier value to 4, and that's it for our script, so we've closed it off. Now we've go over to a rebirth GUI, and then click on plus, and then add in a local script. And then if we go to a properties, and then rename it to rebirth client. So at the top, we have a few variables. So we have one called player. And this equals to a local player, which is the client. And then we have a variable for the leader stats, which equals to a player. Then once again, we're waiting for a child leader stats. And then we do the same, but for a multiplier value. And then we have a variable for the toggle and the frame. And both of them equal to the script's parent, which is rebirth GUI. And then we're waiting for a child toggle and frame. And then we have a variable for a rebirth event. And once again, this equals to a replicate storage. And then we're waiting for a child rebirth event. And then we have a variable named required points. And this is going to be how many points we need to rebirth. 
I'm not going to be scripting it to increase each time we rebirth. So I'll just set mine to 10. And if you want, you can change it to as many as you want. And then down here, we're using the mouse button one click event on the toggle button. So once we click on it, we're going to be changing the frame's visible property to what it's not already. For example, if a frame is visible, and then we we'll click the toggle, then it'll make the frame invisible. And then we're updating the price's text to say price, and then we're connecting it to the required points amount, and then we're also connecting it to more text to say points. For example, it'll say price, and then 10 points. And then we're doing the same to the multiplier's text, but instead we're changing the text to say new multiplier, event an x, and then we're connecting it to a multiplier's value, but then plus 2. So what this will do is update the multiplier's text to what the next multiplier will be once the rebirth. And now if you scroll down. Okay, so here we're using the mouse button one click event on the confirm button. So it's going to run the code once we click on it. Then we're using an if statement to check if the player has enough points to rebirth. And if they do, then we times the required points amount by two. For example, if we need 10 points and then rebirth, then I'll set it to 20, then we rebirth again, then I'll set it to 40. And then we also set the frame's visible property to false, so we can't see it once we rebirth. And then we fire the rebirth event to the server, which will then take away the points, and then give us another rebirth value. And then that's it for our script, so we close it off. All we need to do now is make a way to get points. Okay, so I just added in a part, and then named it to points giver. And inside of it, we have a click detector, so we can actually click on it. And then we have a surface GUI to display the text. So, if we click the part, and then add in a script, and then go to a properties, and then rename it to point script. So up top, we're using the mouse click event on the click detector, which is inside the script's parent, which is the points giver part, and the player in between the brackets is the player that clicks the part and we need to get the player so we can actually increase their points value. Then once again, we have a variable for the leader stats, which equals to a player and then we're waiting for the child leader stats and then we do the same for a points variable, but instead we're waiting for a points value inside the leader stats folder and then we have a variable for a multiplier value, which equals to a player and then we're waiting for a child multiplier and then down here, we're using an if statement to check if the multiplier value is higher than zero. And if it is, then we're adding plus one point value, but times the multiplier value. And then we're using an else. So if the multiplier value equals to zero, then we're only going to give them one point per click. So all this does is once we click the point part, then it's going to check if our multiplier is higher than zero. So if you have a multiplier and we've rebirthed, then it'll actually multiply our points. But if we don't have a multiplier, then it'll only give us one point per click. So that's it for the script, so we we'll close it off and click play. So once we're in the game, you can see I have no points and no rebirths. And if we open up our player and check the multiply value, then you can see in the properties, it's set to zero. And then if we click on rebirth, then the frame opens, and you can see it says we need 10 points to rebirth, and our new multiplier will be two. So we we'll close it, and then click on the part. So we get one point per click. So if we get to 10. Okay, so I got 10 points. So if we open the GUI and then click confirm, then you can see that it took away the points and it gave me one rebirth. And now if we click on the part, then it gives us two points per click instead of one because it changed our multiplier to two. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. If this video helped, then make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. In the description, you can check out my Roblox group and Discord server, and I'll see you later. Bye!